Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Don't it updated. Ooh, let's just get into it then. Today we're going to be buying the Finn horses. Also, I do have to be a bit quiet because of. So, it's 3 a.m. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm really excited. You guys don't even know. I'm like, I'm really excited for this. These horses are really. Okay. But it doesn't show you where they are. That's lovely. <laughs> okay, let's just go. I think they're at Furgrove. Also, guys, peep the Easter outfit. Peep the Easter outfit. Okay, let's go to Furgrove because I think that they're over there. I think they're over there. Well, not the official trailers, but I don't know why they're not on the map for some reason. Oh, wow, it's an up another person's awake. I'm not alone. Okay, let's go. Oh, a bunch of people are over here. That's surprising. <gasps> oh, my gosh i've got to be oh gosh they're so cute that's not very cute what is that do your little dancey dance guys the hay just sassy let it live let it live but my goodness you guys they are so cute look at the eyelashes and the flamboyant hair and they have chestnuts you guys taught me that thank you for that and and they have like ombre shade it has one different colored hoof are you kidding me that is so good. And this one, oh, the caramel is one of my favorites. It has a stripe on the stripe. It has a stripe on the stripe. It's so cute. And it has like, I don't know, but like, this is ombre, right? It has like a slight lighter ombre with the tail as well. And also like, it's hoof. Guys, look at that. It changed. It just has this one marking. Wait, is that header? <laughs> It's heterochroma. It's, it's hetero. It's, it's hetero. It's hetero. Okay, guys. It's heterochromia. That is so cute. That is so cute. What am I supposed to do now? Not supposed to be cute, so I can choose. That's that's how it works here, right? But it has splotches dappled gray. Thank you, everyone, who told me. It has kind of like a, not an ombre, but more like shade. It's mane. I really like that. I think it's really, really cute. And they kind of have the Frisian stance, but I don't really mind too much. I do like this one, and I like that it has markings on its marking, like little dots on its marking and stuff. But the only thing is, I feel like I have too many horses like this, so I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get this one personally. But it is super cute and very very beautiful. So beautiful, it's it's angelic. It reminds me of Angel Bread. Okay, guys, so I think I've had a good look see at all of them right then. So I think I'm gonna head on over to Fort Pinta. Take a look see at the others real quick. Okay, sorry. I know my keyboard's going to try to steal the show. Okay, anyways, let's go to. Are you kidding me? Noble Blood. Noble Blood. Now's not the time for your shenanigans. No shenanigans. Okay, we're going to go over to. Or Pinta, I'm not sure. Okay, if they don't have it the one time I remember to go there, I will rage. Chapstick time. That was really aggressive. Anyways, let's go. I'm too excited. For it's strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake is here. This was one of my favorites. No way. How do I choose? I have four that are my favorite. I really like caramel one, palomino one, and this one. The one that one has heterochromia is really cute too. Oh, it's so beautiful. Heterochromia is very, very beautiful. And look, we have this horse. Oh my gosh. In, con in a country of sprawling forests, vast lakes, and snowy winters comes a horse with all the grit and Nordic steed. Welcome the small but mighty Finn horse. The Finn horse has a special history as the development breed is intertwined with the history of Finland itself. The sturdy horse was the ultimate adapter to the ever-changing lives and this meant that the Finnish horse had to adapt fast, developing unique skills that are now categorized into four disciplines. Riding, draught, Trotter and pony type. Pony type? What do you mean? Horse on Jorvik are a well rounded mix dubbed as a riding and all rounded type. With these four diverse backgrounds, the Finn horse is suitable for many forms of riding, from cross country and hacking to everyday riding and use in riding schools. They are known of the ba on a mispronounce. However, the Finnish horse, Finn horse breed has not been without its struggles with the of farming and the extinction of the Finnish horse cavalry. In the 
20th century, the need for Finn Horse diminished, but the people would not let the beloved Finn Horse fall into obscure AT. The establishment of the dedicated Stirred Book in 1971 and the recognition meant that 20,000 today. More notable colors, chestnut, they can also be found base colors, black and bay. Oftentimes they have white markings on their legs and face with sturdy legs, strong muscles, and solid hooves. This horse is perfect for riding all terrains on Jorvik, so if you're looking for a fluffy, tough cookie that will adapt and excel no matter what, the Finn Horse is an ideal companion. So, oh my goodness. Oh, wait, what? Wait, don't zoom into my face. Look at this. It has, it has wrinkles. It has <laughs> wrinkles. You guys happy that I noticed that for you? I think you are because, wait, wait, I just ran through my horse. Jeez, that's not very good. This one is really cute, but uh, I don't really know. Okay, I need to go see the other ones real quick. I, I need to see them real quick again. It'll take me a while. Maybe some back. But strawberry shortcake there is pretty good. And the thing is, I never see anyone at Fir Grove, but now that they're- Oh my goodness, look how many people are over. I really love that red bucket hat. <laughs> Fence has trapped. I've been trapped. Now we're just going to go see the Finn horse. And guys, this breed is phenomenal. I mean- it is so beautiful. Look at it. Uh, I, I feel like I want to get color of horse, horse coat color that I don't normally get. And I feel like this one is pretty, that one is super. And this one is so beautiful. But I have my eye on another one, I think. I just, do I get the black or gray? Oh, that's a really hard decision. Black has heterochromia. It's so cute. I'm thinking chestnut. I love how everyone's thought process is here, but I, uh, the caramel one, I like it, and I also like this one. Oh, there's another, guys, there's another one. I completely missed this one. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh, it has light, like, light brown kind of gray eyes. That one is super cute. And the markings on the nose, but I'm already sold. I know which one I'm getting. Follow me, you guys, because I know which one I'm going to be getting, and I really, really love this one. I think it's probably one of my favorites. The Palomino. I personally don't have that many Palomino horses. Well, maybe I do. I'll go back to my stable and find, like, ten. But anyways, this is the one. I think it's super cute, and it is my favorite out of the batch so far, but let me know which one you would get down in the comments below. And if you le are listening, I want you to comment Palomino Power in the comments and then everyone will be so confused. So go ahead and comment that. Okay, anyways, let me come up with a name and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm, I'm gonna name it Lemon Water. I think that's cute, you know, like kind of like tea or kind of like lemonade. We have Lemon Ace, but that's not really Lemon A. Oh, so, like, I think I'm gonna name it Lemon Water. Be that quirky, different one. Just kidding. I think someone's probably already named their horse this. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm super excited to see it. Okay, let's go see. Here we go. We are going to get to see our horse. This is really exciting, you guys. I am I accidentally already made my stable look good, so I'm going to have to change. It's lemon water. Wait, let me just untack my horse. I'm too lazy to get a new outfit, and I really want to show the horse more than an outfit, so I'm not going to make one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. No what? Wait, they're just- oh, these horses are really short, but they're so cute. They're so cute. They look so detailed. Like, just compare it to the Lipizzaner right here, and you'll see the difference. Oh my goodness, you guys. Lemon water has been birthed. I'm so- I want to go see the hairstyles, because I do know they have a special fjord mane available, and I really do want to see what that- Oh, the flamboyancy. Flamboyancy of the mane is here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to Fir Grove, and I'm really excited to see what mane style they could have, because the fjord mane is super cute. Skittle that. That's pretty cool, you guys, if we can kind of- Okay, I don't- That's totally not just because I'm taking a shortcut, not just because of that. I'm stylist. This is the special- They have the ability to have this, like, Fjord mane. I don't know what you guys call it, but it looks like a mohawk for a horse. <laughs> it does. And then, wait, the braids are really cute, but I get the braids on like every single horse, so I don't think I'm gonna get them. Uh, they look good with all of them, but I kind of like its original one. It just, it 
it looks uncrusty and these these don't have the flamboyancy of the other mane like it's just not the same this one this one's like oh just went through its eye that's okay though i don't mind yeah i'm not too sure it looks good like i like it but i think i'm just gonna keep it like this because i like it it looks like it's been cut like poo like choo, 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 right through there so i think that's pretty good and um Oh my goodness, I can't believe I have one. I am so excited for these. Okay, anyways, I'm going to show, kind of do like a close-up and look at all of the details on this horse now. So that just in case any of you guys want to buy it, you guys can decide or not. So this is basically what it looks like. And it has like a bit of fur markings here. It also has shading and more fur markings. It doesn't have too much like fluffy fur on itself, but it does, it's shaded as you guys can probably tell. <laughs> I feel so pro. And then it has a chestnut. It also has um, little dapples, like here's one. It also has like little marking there, little marking there, um, little dapple here, and another one there. It's kind of like a base color, but it has like wrinkles in case you guys like that. Yeah, like some wrinkles. And it also has a marking underneath its bangs. It's forelock, not its bangs. Every horse has bangs. Okay, anyways, it has eyelashes. It has kind of shading around the eye. Now it has a pink nose mark. And it also has little dapples here on its nose, on its mouth, on its lips. Yes. And uh, yeah, it has like white, which I personally really like. I think it's so beautiful, not going to lie. And the other ones are super beautiful. Palomino is just... Ah, chef's kiss, you guys. Chef's kiss. Someone else got the Palomino? Really? I thought I was being different. I thought I was being crooked. <laughs> no, just kidding, you guys. Everyone can have this horse. And I really like this breed. Okay, wait. Let me see the rear. Oh, that's the rear. It looks really cute. And then in case you guys wanted to see the animations, if you haven't already, here's the walk. The trot. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. I could have another video out if you guys so want. The canter. Go. Oh, there's the canter. Then we get the fourth one. Here we go. That's the fourth one. And finally, the slow gallop. And then this fast gallop. And then we can do a little backup. That is what it looks like. Oh, their backup's really nice. I like that. And I am personally a fan of their rear. Kind of reminds me of like the North Swedish one. I really like it. I think it's good. And they do a little lem lem thing. But uh, yeah, leave your thoughts and opinions on this horse down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and my giraffe onesie. Bye bye. See you in the next one. Skittlers.